Peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. You hear me say that phrase all the time. We are in the season of peace on earth, goodwill towards men. We are in the season of celebrating the life of the Prince of Peace. Why is there no peace, N-O, peace in the world sometimes? Why is there such a topsy turmoil? I mean, you see what's going on in Berlin. That person, I'm not going to give an adjective to him, who just came out and murdered the Russian ambassador to Turkey. Full-blown. Nuts. Um, the most recent thing, the fireworks uh, factory in, or store in Mexico City exploding, 26, I think was the last number. There's no peace, and yet this time of year, we celebrate peace, or at least we pray we can celebrate peace. I mean, that's stuff going on around the world. There's not so peacefulness going on around our own neighborhoods, our own communities, and yes, not so much peace within our own households. The psalmist from Psalm 122 writes to us, as he's helping us to see peace in the realm of Jerusalem, and he says in verse 7, Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. Now, is he talking about no activity that would rock the boat? Is he talking about no activity that would be harmful towards other people? I think, yes, definitely he's talking about that. He's talking about security. Is he talking about security with meaning, and we see it all the time, security cameras patrolling buildings and shopping malls. So that one video that got shot of the, of the fight, it was a security camera. We put these things up because we're not at peace. See, peace doesn't come from just a stopping of bad activities. Peace comes from the heart. Peace comes from God. It's a fruit of the Spirit. It's from the Holy Spirit who is indwelling in all believers. That's where the peace comes from. It comes from here in the heart. And when our heart is, a, is at peace, our homes are at peace. Our homes can be joyous, especially in this celebration of time, of joy to the world. You know, it, peace comes from the reality of knowing who God is and what God came and did. That's where peace really comes from. The peace to accept these things that have happened, these explosions uh, in Mexico City, trucks crashing and killing people in Berlin, murderous, hate-filled people assassinating ambassadors. Peace comes from within, and peace tries, tries to fulfill the grace and the mercy of God. So, in your homes today, this season, and all days, actually. Live within the peace that God gives you, the peace of God that passes all understanding. I can't think it. I know it. I experience it. Let this peace well, well up in you richly. This peace, this comfort, this joy, they're all related a peace that keeps your hearts and your minds still so that you can focus on the Prince of Peace, the babe of Bethlehem, Jesus Christ, who came and gave his life to save you, to save me. The Prince of Peace. Let us live in his peace, the peace that he gives from, G from the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we give you thanks and praise for all the blessings you bestowed to us. 
especially the blessing of peace in our homes today. Father, we ask you to give us a peace of heart in a time that is turbulent and crazy. Help us to rely more and more upon you and your grace and your mercy and your love and your salvation in Jesus Christ. Help us to more fully grasp hold of what you've given us, and that is the peace as we live in peace on earth, goodwill toward men. We pray this all in the name of your son, Jesus, and all God's children say,